Hey, fighters and gaming aficionados, welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the gaming universe to bring you the latest and greatest. Today, we're throwing down in the ring with some fresh, and let's be honest, controversial details about Tekken 8's microtransaction prices and what Bandai Namco Entertainment has in store for us with their post-launch updates. So buckle up, because we've got a lot to unpack, and I've got opinions to share. Tekken 8's microtransaction revelation. Let's cut to the chase. The premium shop in Tekken 8 is going live, and it's stirring up quite the storm. In the latest Tekken Talk live stream, the big guns at Tekken Project laid it all out. We're talking about Katsuhiro Harada, Kohei Aikda, Michael Murray, and Yasuda from Esports spilling the beans on what's to come. The cost of fashion. First off, the elephant in the room. Microtransaction prices. We've learned that while there will be free items up for grabs in the Tekken shop though, let's be real, they're probably not going to be the flashy ones we're all drooling over. The premium content is where the real action is. They're introducing a premium currency dubbed Tekken coins, and here's the kicker. Each premium costume will set you back 400 Tekken coins, which translates to roughly $399. Yup, you heard right. And these aren't just any costumes. We're talking classic looks like Jun's outfit from Tag 2 making a comeback. DLC characters and future updates. Now for the characters. The team's playing coy about the release dates for fan favorites like Eddie Gordo, but they've thrown us a bone. All new characters will be available in practice mode for free. As for updates, the focus is on squashing bugs before tinkering with balance adjustments. And for those of you dreaming of a practice mode where you can spar with friends, it's on the horizon. But here's where things get dicey. Addressing plugger behavior. The devs are talking about dropping the hammer with penalties, including blacklisting or even permanent bans. Harsh, but maybe necessary? What won't be coming to Tekken 8? Don't hold your breath for a tag mode, folks. It looks like that ship has sailed. However, they're teasing the idea of Eddie stepping in to replace Kazuya as the main menu's poster boy. Plus, a photo mode is in development for all you customization kings and queens out there. Expanding the online arena. The team is brainstorming ways to freshen up online play, floating ideas like 3v3 or 5v5 modes, depending on what we, the players, are into. And for something a bit different, they're considering a Ghost vs Ghost mode, where you can pit your AI against another's. Free story expansions. Here's a silver lining. Story expansions for DLC characters will be free for all game owners. A nice touch, showing that not everything behind the curtain comes with a price tag. My take. Alright, time for some real talk. On one hand, the introduction of Tekken coins and the pricing for premium content is… Well, it's a mixed bag. Sure, $3.99 for a costume might not break the bank, but it's the principle of the thing. It feels like we're inching ever closer to a world where every cool aspect of a game comes with a price tag. However, the commitment to free practice mode characters and story expansions is a commendable move. It shows a level of respect for the community and a nod to keeping the game accessible, at least in parts. But let's talk about the potential for permanent bans and the lack of a tag mode. It's a double-edged sword. On one side, it's about maintaining a fair and enjoyable online environment. On the other, it's a reminder of what we're losing in the transition to newer titles. Final thoughts. Tekken 8 is shaping up to be a battleground not just for the characters within the game, but for the players and developers navigating the evolving landscape of gaming monetization. As always, I'm keen to hear your thoughts. Are the premium prices a fair trade for the content provided? How do you feel about the updates and the direction Tekken 8 is taking? Drop your comments below, hit that like button if you enjoyed this deep dive, and don't forget to subscribe to Joystick News for more gaming insights and updates. Until next time, keep your combos tight and your wallets tighter. And your wallet.